I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search, CoachingHQ.com, and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And this is the new Job Search Radio, done as a video. What can I tell you? And I was asked a question by someone that I thought was terrific. And it asked, why do recruiters ask my thoughts about the interview before giving me results? Now, I think this, the answer is true whether it's a corporate recruiter or a third-party recruiter. And it involves two potential sets of situations. Understand from a recruiter standpoint, again, either corporate or third-party, the last thing they want to do is make a phone call to a hiring manager who is not going to be pleased. So if you were to tell them, you know, I think I stank up the joint. I had an awful performance. They asked me questions that I just couldn't answer. Why would they call the hiring manager and be berated by them or risk being scathed or criticized by them? Seriously, why would you want to do that? You know, if you're an internal recruiter, a corporate recruiter, you know, you're criticized by one of your users who can go to your boss and embarrass you. If you're an external recruiter, you don't want to remind the client that you screwed up. So there's no point in calling the hiring manager if you stank up the joint. And here's another scenario, though. They already have feedback. And they are trying to find out if you might be interested. So what they're trying to do is to gauge your interest in how you answer the question. So what are your thoughts about the interview? Well, I think it went really well. The manager was terrific. I really learned a lot about the job. I liked the role. And suddenly, they can convert the conversation into something, I'll call it a pre-sales a pre-close, something where they can start persuading you about the opportunity, draw information out from you and say, you know, in our first conversation, you were talking about a salary of such and such and confirm that the numbers are what you spoke with them about. There have been no changes. They can start working toward maneuvering you into being interested in their opportunity. For example, they can say, I'm glad you're interested because I've already heard from the hiring manager and they thought you were terrific. And suddenly you're beaming with pride, you're excited, your tail is wagging. It's a, it's a good call for you, right? And they can then start talking about, you know, they're going to want to have you back and they're going to start building up momentum, start having you back and preparing you for the next interview. So the reasons are pretty simple. Either you stank up the joint and they don't want to have them stick uh, your their head in the noose. You did well, and they're going to get you excited about the opportunity. And here's the third one. You're kind of neutral, and they know they have to make the call because you're just giving a factual recitation of the events, and they can't interpret from it whether or not the manager was interested. So this is all about gauging interest by you and how you performed. Now, that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I just want to talk with you about a couple of ways that you can engage with me. And I want to start off by saying, first of all, I no longer do recruiting. So don't send me a resume and tell me that you're looking for a job doing whatever. I'm not interested in that. I coach people into new roles. I don't place you in a job. So I don't have the vested interest that a recruiter has in which job you take because you're the one that's hiring me. They're being hired by a corporation to find people. I'm being, I'm coaching you to perform at a peak level. And as such, if you're interested in my coaching, you visit the biggamehunter.us. There are tabs on the top that will tell you how to hire me and what I charge for my services. Next, if you want me to just critique your resume and or LinkedIn profile, prepare you for an interview, you know, do the sort of things that will help you perform in individual morsels rather than over the course of your search. You know, that includes a salary negotiation or what I call trusted advisor services, where you have the offer or multiple offers and you're looking for input from an impartial individual. Again, you can find out about it at thebiggamehunter.us. While you're there, I've got a blog with thousands of posts with information that you can watch, listen to, or read. And 
it's just a ton of it, thousands of it. Read my stuff, it'll help you with your search. Or if you want to curate it, visit jobsearchcoachinghq.com where I have the best of my material there at a low price. Plus, you can ask me questions through the site and I even discount my coaching. Again, that's jobsearchcoachinghq.com. I'll be back soon with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Take care.